Hi everyone, it's Adrian here, just uh, doing a small tutorial uh, in uh, an attempt to model this little desk, hooded desk, which one of my previous students has um, shown me and asked me how to model it. Initially, looking at it, I thought it was a, a curve in two directions, but it isn't in actual fact. After further study, it is actually just a curve in one direction, and you can model it up with conventional sketch up tools but um, let's let's have a look at curvy loft which is a plugin that you can get download from the sketch education website it's written by the programmer fredo6 and he's done quite a, a number of different plugins for sketchup and curvy loft is one of the really good ones that he's done um, it just allows you, uh, Curvy Loft allows you to create more of a, an organic organic type shape. SketchUp is very good at doing planes and um, you know, vertical walls and things like that. Whereas Curvy Loft allows you to sort of create uh, more organic things um, to, to work with curves and um, different types of shapes. So this is the uh, tool set that, that comes with Curvy Loft. It, is, um, it has basically three different modes. So we have the first one is actually um, loft by spline, the second one is loft along a path, and the third one is skin contours. So they all sort of do more or less the same thing. Um, there's just a few different little uh, um, options in, in each of them which uh, allow you to create a bit of variation. So the first one we're going to look at is just this one here which is called uh, loft by spline. And it's quite an easy one. All you need to do is just click on the lines that um, you want to create your um, object out of, like this. Just click OK a few times, and there we go. And you can obviously you can still see you can actually move your vertices around at this point, but um, we're just going to use this as a, in a fairly sort of um, a basic sense. But um, you can see that there are quite a, a number of different options along here that you can try out and try out for yourself. So anyway, when we click that, and it's now created our object, let me just move it aside so we can just have a better look at it. And you can see here that it's it's created quite a nice smooth surface using, uh, well it did say splines, didn't it? Um, loft by spline, so we've got some nice nice um, curves um, between the individual profiles of those um, that, that were used to create it. The next one we've got here is the um, loft along a path. So let me just click on loft along a path. Oops, no, sorry. Just like that. Loft along a path. So to use loft along the path, what we're going to do is we're going to first select our path and just confirm it as our path. And then we're going to click on the two curves here. So what's what we hope is going to happen is it's going to morph from this curve at one end to the large curve at the second end. And there it is. So it sort of looks a bit like a, a bit like a shoehorn I suppose. And just um, just while I'm at it, uh, another one of Fredo 6's plugins is this joint push-pull plugin here and um, this is actually another quite useful one. It allows you to thicken up your your surfaces that you create and actually turn them into solid objects. So you can see here it's a solid group and that'll allow you then to use the um, solid tools in order to cut and, and um, intersect and, and difference and so on. Let's do it for this one as well. Oops. Uh, let's just make it 50. Yeah, so as you can see here we can we can turn this into some sort of curved facade system, and uh, we can we can punch windows in here if we want to, and so on and so on. So it's quite a um, it's quite a, uh, a versatile tool um, using uh, this curvy loft um, plugin in conjunction with those um, joint push pulls. The last one here is just uh, what uh, everyone will probably do in their time as a building designer and that's create a shade cloth and uh, I'm going to use the last mode here which is the um, skinning skin contours so it's just a matter of clicking on the the lines which create the uh, shade cloth like so and just confirming it and then it skins it so as you can see that it's it now has a bit of a, a bow to it 
which is a bit more convincing than a than a flat plane, which um, often you end up resorting to when it's when it's difficult to to create something like this. But um, yeah, it's actually quite simple. So yeah, this um, curve loft, it's a great great set of tools, and uh, you really can create some interesting shapes with it. But uh, that's not why we're here, though. We're we're here to actually model up our little hooded desk here. So uh, I'm just going to model this up. We don't need to use curvy loft, so I've just closed that down. And uh, I'm just going to go over here and start um, creating um, this desk. Now I have done a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, research just to sort of work out a few things, but uh, it's just a, it's a fairly um, easy thing to model. So let me just, just start by creating a rectangle, which is 650 by 300 and we'll just push pull it up to a, a desk height of about 750 I suppose you can always tweak tweak it yourself later on it's going to go down also just draw a line down here by 115 and then draw a line across there because that's going to be our little box let me just bring this up again that's going to be little, our little box underneath the actual desktop so let's create um, say 15 mil like that and just push pull that away like so and uh, now as for, for legs let's just make a copy of that and go 30 mil in and 30 mil in. Of course there's many ways to to do this and this way is just one way so now we've got our the basis the basic shape of our of our Oh, hang on, let me just push pull that into there and push pull that into there. Let me just have a look at my reference. Let me look at my reference again. Mm, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so we've, now we've got here, I don't know if you can see it, but we've, our legs are sort of a little bit wider here and then they taper down to uh, to, a, a, to a sort of a narrow footprint at the bottom there. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I will... Let's just... Let's just draw this line in here, and let's just let's just um, let's just go in by. Oops, let's do let's just do this, and we'll um, offset by forty mil. Uh, push that up to the top, and I'm going to go down by one fifty there. So I'm just going to pull this one in by, oops, I'm going to keep that on the uh, on the green axis, pull that in by 15 and I'm going to pull that side in by 15 too. Yeah. And I oh, might as well make a copy of this. Uh, oh no, don't need to do that. Just push pull that in. So we've got that. And I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just grab this and I'll just make a copy of that and put that there. So then I can push pull this in too, like that. Aha. Okay, so that's our, that's our basic desk. Uh, so now we need to just do the hooded piece on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, say, a rectangle and I'm going to rotate that to the green, perpendicular to the green. And I'm going to go up, say, Oops, I'm going to go up by 650 by, let's say, about uh, 150, like so. i draw an arc, which goes from, this, from the midpoint there, like that. Now you'll see here that uh, I just drew that arc. I didn't pay any attention to how many segments I was making that arc out of, and 12 segments from there looks a little bit jagged there. So I'm just going to go to my Entity Info box and just change that to... 24 just so we've doubled the amount and that looks a little bit a little bit nicer and okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do another offset and I'm going to offset that by 18 get that one push pull that like that and then I just want to um, move this up by say Oh, about 130 I think 130 yeah so that's almost it in fact that is pretty much it I just need to get rid of those lines there now uh, with the eraser tool I could just 
click on those lines, but as you can see what it does is it deletes the faces as well. So what I'm going to do is down here in the bottom there it says um, option, so if I hold down option or control on the PC, in, com in combination with the eraser tool that just allows you to delete the line um, without, uh, which is like a smoothing rather than um, a deleting so or a hiding and that just makes it sort of nice and clean. So yeah, so that's pretty much that's pretty much the one half of this. So I'm just going to make a group and I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to flip it along the green axis and then just put it back together again. And um, oops, let's just make sure we do it properly. Good. And uh, yeah, so that's that hopefully looks kind of like this one here. So more or less, maybe we can maybe delete a couple of these lines here. That might look a little bit smarter. Uh, have to do it this way. Ooh, and we're missing a little. Oh no, just got a face, which is turn it all the way around. So just reverse that. Yeah, so that'll do nicely. So um, yeah, I hope that that's useful for someone. And um, and um, yes, Kirby Loft is uh, a very interesting tool. You can make some very interesting objects and shapes with it. Um, just give it a go and um, explore and see what you can come up with. Okay, bye.